the characteristics of this formula, and then we'll work through a problem. So um, <clears throat> when looking at the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, this is going to be our nth term. Now, obviously, if you guys remember, when we were just looking at a general sequence of, of any type, do you remember we just, you know, we wanted to find that once we knew what the rule was, we could plug in our, our number in for the rule, right? Well, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Let's say we don't have the sequence and we don't know exactly what the rule is, right? Remember, you're trying to figure out the rule. I can't figure out the rule, right? But we know it's an arithmetic sequence. Well, here is a way to figure out the rule. So therefore, we can plug in our value to find that, um, that value. So a sub 1 is going to be the first term. All right. So to find any number or any value, you have to know that first term, or you have to be able to figure out what that first term is. d is going to represent the common difference. So we discussed how to find that common difference, right, Sasha? We talked about how to find the common difference. So if you guys have an arithmetic sequence, you need to know what the first term is or figure out the first term. You need to know what the common difference is. And then as well as figure out the number of terms. Okay, So that's going to be your number of terms going from your starting to your end. Um, to your end the number of terms that you're going to be trying to identify with. Okay, So let's go and take a look at an example. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a problem and see if you guys can go ahead and figure it out.